Hello, I'm Dr. Rosie Kuhn. It's kind of a rainy, cloudy day on Orcas today, so we're inside next to the fire. I want to talk with you today about relationships and spirituality. And so for the next uh, few minutes, we'll be discussing that, that element of our uh, spiritual and our personal and human unfolding. All right, see you soon. So, so many of us and so many of our religious and spiritual traditions quite often separate our spiritual reality, our spiritual world from human world, uh, from our everyday life, uh, our relationships with our pets or our partners, our children, uh, the co-workers, uh, people on the street. We separate those when in, in actual fact, our relationships are the playing field for our spiritual development. How we be in relationship with ourselves, because our self is a very important relationship, um, and how we be in relationship to other people is where we work out so many of our, um, our, our sense of self, our worthiness, our sense of who someone else is and who we are and how we want to be in our life. So if you haven't yet already subscribed, I would love you to subscribe and or like this video if you're here. And um, I'm going to ask you too to think about what comments you'd like to leave below uh, in relation to your own uh, experiences with relationship and spirituality. So leave comments below if you will, because I would love to hear what's going on for you. So coming back to this, um, there's some spiritual principles that are really, really important that I want to share with you that, um, and I'd love to have your feedback on as, as we go through this. And again, as if you have comments, one of those spiritual uh, principles is that uh, we are all aspects of the divine. We are all part of the universe. We're all part of the universal oneness, all that is. So if I think of myself as being an aspect of the divine, that doesn't mean that you are not an aspect of the divine, that you are an aspect of the divine as much as I am. And knowing that, in a sense, we know it theoretically, but because our consensus reality doesn't give us that feedback and doesn't uh, support that kind of thinking, then it's something that we can say, but we actually don't experience it or live into that principle um, in, in our everyday life. And so part of our challenge is to say, okay, I am, um, I'm scooting up a little bit just because it's a little warm. Um, uh, part of the challenge then is to say, how do I be uh, aware of my divineness? How do I be aware of the fact that I'm an aspect of the divine? How do I live from this place within myself? How do I um, see myself as worthy and not worthy of, uh, someone of a hierarchy saying you are worthy or less than, but how are you worth having the most ex extraordinary life in the world? Um, how do you do that when, in essence, we don't have the evidence, we just have this theory or principle? And the other element of that is how do we treat other people and other beings in relation to their divinity, their divineness, their uh, universal, the universal oneness of all that is. Uh, there was a song that came out a while ago and it went, what if God is one of us? You know, just a slob like one of us. What if, what if he's here? He's just trying to make his way home, just like the rest of us. And I love that because I think that's true. I think that for me, that, that, that God lives and resides within us as us. And as that, then we are all um, in have the have the ability we have the opportunity to address each other in that divineness rather than judging and putting people down uh, being mean uh, being abusive violating them it's like how do we treat each other if we are all divine and the same with us ourselves quite often we self-deprecate we diminish ourselves we uh, self-hate uh, and when we do that we're 
diminishing our, our sense of value. So all of these are elements of, well, the question that comes up in a sense is like, well, how do I do this? And what is spiritual? We come back to that question is what is spiritual in relation to relationship? And as I've said in before, when we were talking about, uh, in a sense, the hobby, hobby of fish keeping, I was talking about the hobby of fish keeping and the hobbit, hobbit of, of spirit keeping, it's how do I want to be in relation to the divine within, how do I, how do, I do that? How do we honor, how do I honor this? And how do I honor you? And that's a, a it's just a challenge, right? And the dilemma is uh, that we get afraid because we don't know how to do that because we, we've never been taught how to do that. And yet most, uh, you know, at least Christian parables of Jesus is all about doing that. He always honored other people in who they were and saw them in love and, and acted from that love. That's that Christ consciousness. So when we can want, to, we have to want to embody that Christ consciousness. We have to know, okay, I am that Christ consciousness, which is very difficult again, because we are um, not taught that. So being able to train ourselves to say, okay, I'm going to try to live this way. In a sense, I'm going to practice, see what it's like to live in this consciousness and treat myself as if I am this Christ consciousness as if I am love, as if I am worth, just worth in the divinity of that. And what is it like if I practice that in seeing everyone else that way? So what this does is it cultivates awareness of how often am I negative? How often do I judge others? How often do I guilt or shame other people? How often do I guilt, shame, or judge myself? And what do I want to do about that? So it gives us these opportunities to look at what's going on, what's your experience, and to question, is that how I want to be in my life? Is this how I want to treat the people in my life, whether it's my coworkers or boss or, or children or partners? Is this how I want to be? And if not, then you can ask yourself, how do I want to be here? How do I want to be in this truth of myself? So that's where we are in this practice of relationships and spirituality, how we, how we be both and, because we are these spiritual beings, these energetic vibrational beings, and we're having this human experience. And both are so important and crucial to the experience that we're having. And so here is, in a, in a sense, what we're up against is how do I do both? So again, if you found this to be valuable, I'd love it if you would give me a thumbs up for it. Please leave comments below in terms of perhaps the challenges you face in seeing or experiencing yourself or others as an aspect of the divine. All right, bye for now.